We're here from Boss, and uh, I'm going to talk about Boss gear. We start with some uh, compact pedals, or also called stomp boxes. And what these do is they change the sound of your or guitar. We should start with uh, distortion first, because that's really obvious what it does. Uh, distortion gets you that rock tone, the mean rock tone that we all love. This is what my guitar sounds like. Without it, and I kick this in. Now that's, that's really heavily distorted, but we can turn that down and you can get all these different nuances if we turn the amount of distortion down. We can get more of a bluesy type, type sound. And what's really cool with this um, is that if I just roll off my volume on the guitar, I can clean it up really nicely. If I want to crank it up. So that's what distortion does. It adds, for people that don't play guitar, it adds your rock tone or crunch. Show you the next pedal. This is called an, an AC3, which is an acoustic simulator. And uh, what this does is basically transforms your electric guitar into an acoustic guitar. And this is what my guitar sounds like without it. I'll kick it on. And there's actually four different types of uh, acoustic mo guitar models built in here. We have a jumbo, a, a paisa type of guitar, a standard body, and a dreadnought. And we also have built in reverb. Reverb is basically like ambience or playing in a big cave. So the next pedal I want to show you is called a CS3, Compression Sustainer. What actually a compressor does, um, I'm going to try to explain this as simple as possible. It actually works as a limiter. If you strum the guitar really light, but then if you hit it really hard, it makes it not pop out like that. No matter how hard I hit the string, it doesn't pop it. And right now I'm using the compressor and I'm using a little bit of delay. You hear the echo? CH1, super chorus. Chorus is basically a modulation effect. This is my guitar, and here's with chorus. Gives it that big, lushy type sound. And we make uh, another chorus part too called Chorus Ensemble. So delay is basically echo, and uh, it can sound like this. It's an echo, we can of course Make it infinite with the amount of repeats. And now it's going to go on forever. So if you were to play with distortion, I mean, we'll say we're playing a, a big rock song with a, with a slow type melodic solo and we wanted to get that big, big, big ballad tone. Without delay, it would sound like... Kick it in. And another cool thing we can do with this pedal is called DD7. Is we can uh, we have a 40 second uh, looper built in, so to speak, meaning we can record for 40 seconds and keep playing on top of that. So in this box, we have 16 and a half minutes of recording time and 11 different locations to store each loop on. This other pedal is actually my tap tempo, where I tap the speed of the song I'm gonna play. And one thing that's really good with this is that it quantizes, meaning that if I, when I play, if I step on the pedal, I'm a little bit off, it makes it correct, corrects it in the rhythm. So here's our guide track. That's the metronome, basically. Yeah, so that's what keeps time. And you can choose to hear it or not. There's another cool thing you can do with it. It's called auto start. What it does is now it's just gonna start um, looping when I start playing. as I said, infinite overdubs, meaning infinite layers on top of each other, because uh, you have 16 and a half minutes of recording time, but it's only the first loop you do that counts towards actual memory. 
you can take um, any of your favorite songs from your iPod or your CD player or whatever and, and, and uh, throw it in here and then you can slow it down without changing the pitch. So if you want to figure out like a, a crazy Jimi Hendrix song or something, you can slow down into half tempo if you wanted to without changing the pitch, meaning that the tuning will be the same. And it has a feature called center cancel. And what that is, it takes out um, whatever is mixed in the center of a recording, which guitar solos usually are mixed center. So center cancel means it takes that out. So, so once you've figured it out, you can play along with it. This is one of the top features. Okay, remember this. Who doesn't love Star Wars? Hang on, we're gonna do that one more time. Okay, so now check this out. We're gonna save this. And now... And we're gonna show you how you can get different tones from an amp just using the amp. So we're using the, uh, an amp called Cube 20X by Roland. And uh, this amp is a, is a two channel amp. And on the first channel, which is called Clean, the Clean channel, uh, it's actually vo voiced after the world famous Roland JC120 amplifier. So we actually have uh, six different amplifier types on the second channel. So really it's like having seven amps in one amp. What else is cool is you got, um, Bob's got a headphone jack that's also speaker simulated. I mean, you can go direct out of this into a recorder or a computer. The microcube that Bob's having here, it's got seven amp models, same amount of effects as the Cube 20, and check this out, six AA batteries lets you play for 20 hours. I want to thank you guys very much thank you. for coming by. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.